Hey you guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, we're going to be testing out Essence makeup yet again. I swear this is like my fourth or fifth video testing out Essence, but they are putting out products quicker than I can put out videos. So Essence, if you're watching this, you need to slow down. So in my last testing Essence makeup video, I thought I'd pretty much tried out every single product from the brand and then you guys very kindly let me know in the comments that they actually just launched a bunch of new products. And being in Cornwall, we always get everything last minute, so it actually took a few Few weeks my local Wilkinson stock everything so I finally managed to get my hands on pretty much a full face of brand new essence makeup I think the only products I don't have is a concealer and a powder but I'm pretty sure I've tried out all of their concealers and powders anyway so I've got everything laid out in front of me and there's everything from new highlighters holographic highlighters um, liquid lipsticks metallic liquid lipsticks cream contours so many cool things so let's get it on my face so I've already moisturized primed all that good stuff and as you guys can probably see my skin is not loving life at the moment this is what filming 10 Halloween makeup looks in one day does to your skin so kids don't try that at home so yeah it's safe to say that today we are putting this foundation through its paces this is the fresh and fit awake makeup healthy glow with vitamin complex and cranberry water for some reason just that like wording alone kind of reminds me of the bourgeois healthy mix which I really really like let's go for four pumps because I'm gonna need some coverage today and the color I got was 30 fresh honey. I think that was around like four pounds or something. I'll try and leave all the prices down below as always. So I'm just gonna take this Real Techniques buffing brush and I think I got this in a slightly lighter color because from personal experience, essence like concealers and foundations tend to oxidize. So, so let's see if this one does. It has quite a nice smell to it actually. Oh, and it's covering that up. I mean, I know I have caked it on, but that is, Ooh, when it said healthy glow, I was thinking it was gonna be like a BB cream sort of thing, but this is covering shit up. And that is what I need right now. I feel like this maybe is a little bit too light for me. See, I was trying to be smart and I was trying to think, you know, this is gonna oxidize, so let's go for a lighter shade, but Essence, you're playing me. I feel like they've maybe upped their packaging game as well because normally Essence foundations come in like colorful squeezy tubes. This, it's got a nice little glass bottle and a pump. That does actually look quite similar to Bourjois Healthy Mix. It's kind of like, it's ever so slightly sitting in my pores a little bit more than Healthy Mix normally does, but it looks good. Like I would put this foundation and I can't really fault it. I mean, Healthy Mix is one of my all-time favorite foundations for like a kind of natural dewy glow. And I know this is maybe a little bit gross, but where I was kind of like picking at the spots, I'm a picker, what can I say? The skin kind of got a little bit dry and went a little bit scabby and stuff. And this is like, just like washed over it and it's kind of moisturized it a bit. So it's not looking flaky or anything like that. So yeah, that's actually, that's actually really nice. That's probably my favorite foundation from Essence so far. So next we'll move on to concealer. And like I said, I don't have a new one from them. So I'm just gonna use one that I've already tried before. They are both pretty pale. Yikes, but we'll roll with it. So from what I can remember, I don't love this concealer, but I don't hate it. It's kind of like, it's okay. If you want a cheap concealer, then yeah, it's not bad. That all under my eyeballs and over these bad boys. I've literally been like throwing masks on my face almost like every other night since I uploaded that video and my skin is just like nope it's not gonna be that easy we can't just forgive you for this stuff but I think it's finally forgiving me it's sort of slowly going back to normal oh and by the way thank you all for the love on my recent Halloween last minute makeup video um, I know sometimes Halloween makeup tutorials can be boring for some of you guys some of you just want reviews or whatever um, but that one went down really, really well. So I think I'm definitely gonna do more of them next year. Okay, concealer is on. It has made me look a little bit more pale now, but at least we are concealed. Nice. Oh, there's a cat hair on my face somewhere. I can feel it. Michael, why are you doing this to me? So next I'm gonna move on to this cream contouring kit. This is called the Strobing and Contouring Palette and they're all creams. I think you maybe have three shimmers. It's like this white kind of, now you can barely even see that like shimmery shade and then you've got these two like champagne colors okay you can't really see the shimmery ones at all to be honest 
yeah, they're pretty much non-existent. Um, but I also have two matte highlighter shades and then five kind of cream contouring shades. So I think I'm just gonna go smack bang in the middle. I'm just taking this flat brush. Let's try and warm the face up a little bit. Ooh. That is way better than I thought it was gonna be just from like swatching the more shimmery colors. I'm just kind of like patting that under my cheekbone to start off with. Taking the foundation brush again and just kind of blending out the edges a little bit. Ooh, that's nice. Sorry I doubted you. I hope we can still be friends. Okay, let's try this out. Let's take like a smaller brush and let's take this sort of more champagne color. Literally nothing seems to come out with that. Okay, no. So the shimmery colors kind of suck, but it's kind of worth it for the more matte contouring shades. Maybe I will take that brush again and just take a little bit of that like yellow color, just like on the inner corner of my eyes. Yeah, so far, I am feeling the matte shades. It does suck that the shimmery colors are like pretty much non-existent and don't show up at all. But I still really like the palette. Yeah, I'm very happy with that actually. So I then have this other contouring stick. This is the two-in-one highlight and contouring stick. So on one side, we have like a matte brown shade. And then on the other side, we have a shimmery shade. I'll just swatch those two on the back of my hands for you guys. That feels quite nice, it's quite cool toned. And you can see that a bit more. Okay, so let's give that a go. Let's try and like really chisel out those cheekbones. Right, let's see. Ooh, yeah, that blends out really nicely as well. Should I try and do some nose contouring? Oh God, what have I done? I feel like this was maybe a mistake. Don't really think it looks that much different. My nose just looks a little bit more brown. Um, okay, maybe we'll pass on the nose contouring. So I'm then just gonna quickly take this highlighter shade and just try and run that on my cheekbones. I don't know, we'll see how that blends out. It might be like a nice little glowy situation. It kind of makes my skin look a bit more dewy. Like looking at this, I thought it was gonna be more of like an actual shimmer, but it's just made my cheekbones look like dewy. Yeah, I can get down with that. So before I go into powdering and all that jazz, I do have another cream highlighter. This is the Prismatic Hollow Lighter Stick. And this one, I think it's just, oh, it's in the shade Be Unique, Be a Unicorn. And I don't really think I'm ever gonna wear this, but I saw some of you guys asking about this. And I just thought I'd show you because it's just a little bit of fun. I mean, it's kind of like a sort of lilac-y, glow really again it's not really giving off like too much of a tint when you blend it out but you can see it has like slight let's chuck it on my face anyway one of you will shout at me if i don't oh very glowy i feel like it has taken off my foundation a little bit though underneath which isn't ideal so i'm kind of trying to like blend that out it really doesn't seem to be giving off like any tint at all really i'm not really seeing any of like the blue or purpley reflex coming through just kind of gives more of a wet look. So that's actually probably way more wearable than I thought it was gonna be. So next up, I'm gonna go in with the Brighten Up Banana Powder. I think this costs around three pounds or something. I'm just gonna set that under my eyes first. Sometimes I find banana powders to just be so intensely yellow, it's like, mate, I ain't Homer Simpson. Hold on a second. Ooh, that's actually blended out like a goddamn dream. Ooh, damn, that stuff really blurs out your pores. That is like, you know when you take a selfie on like Snapchat or Instagram, and it looks okay, but then you swipe a few times and you get that perfect filter and you're like, that's the one. That is what this powder is like. It's kind of just blurring everything out. I don't know if it'll last that long on my skin. I feel like my under eyes will probably crease pretty quickly, but it is blurring. Cool, yeah, I like that. Maybe not for long term, but if you just want something to like blur out your forehead or various parts of your face that aren't gonna crease that much, really like that. So there I was thinking I didn't have a powder, but I actually have one of their little minis. So this one is the Fix It Baby Fixing Powder. And I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used before because why not? And I'm gonna kind of apply that next to that powder. Ooh, that one seems to do the same kind of thing. Maybe it'll 
layer under my under eyes nicely. I'm gonna need a big brush for this. I'm gonna have to chuck this all over my face. I wanna see if it just like blurs my entire face. Oh my God, it actually does. Like I said, I don't think it's gonna last the longest time or do anything amazing, but for blurring, that is so, so good. If you want like something that just blurs out your pores or maybe like a photo shoot or something, this does it. This does it, my friends. So next I have a powder contouring kit. This is the Get Picture Ready Contouring Palette. This one is in the shade 10 Get In Shape. And as you can see, we've got like, I think this is a matte powder. Yeah, we've got like a matte powder. I mean, I would try this under my eyes again, but I think I've literally put way too much powder on my face already. We've also got a more warm tone bronzer and a sort of cool tone contouring powder. Let's start off with the darker one, I think. And kind of press that into my cheekbones. Ooh, that's actually blending out really nicely. I thought it was gonna be really, really dark to start off with. And it is dark. It is like quite a harsh contour, but I like it. I then think I'm gonna take the warmer shade, just using the same brush, and kind of warm that up around my temples and my forehead. I feel like the other one could be a little bit too dark for that, but I think for my cheekbones, it kind of works really well. You guys, I cannot believe that we are nearly at 100K. I mean, that was kind of secretly my goal when I started this channel years and years ago, but it was a goal I never really mentioned because I thought it was so impossible, there was no chance I was ever gonna get that amount. And I mean, it could happen, which is insane to me. That was blended out like a dream and good colors, yeah. That is fab. So next is something that I am very, very excited about. Of course, it is a highlighter. Actually, it is in fact a metal chrome blush, but I mean, when I swatch this, it looks like a highlighter to me. So I'll just pop that there for you guys. And it just looks like a really nice kind of subtle, but still glowy highlighter. So I'm just gonna take this little fan brush. I've been looking for this for so long. It fell down the side of my little makeup cupboard and I found it, I cleaned it and now I'm using it. But let's try this. Now nah, let's go with Old Faithful. Let's go with my Luxe Powder Fusion. That is nice. Again, it's got like a full on sort of wet look finish to it. I'm not as blown away by it as I thought I was gonna be, not gonna lie to you. I was thinking it was gonna be like, oh my God, this is another like holy grail from Essence. I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong, but it's not as intense as I was maybe hoping it to be. And this says it's chrome. And it looks pretty chrome when I swatch it. And like, even when I swatch it on my arm, it's got like a nice little like chrome finish to it. But on the skin, it's just kind of like, subtle. Damn it, I was so excited about this. So next, I'm gonna keep the eyes fairly simple. And I have got a few shadows here that I haven't really used before. I think I've like, lightly swatched, but haven't really used. The one I'm using here to set my lid in place is my special highlight. Is that a highlighter? Looks more like a matte highlighter to me. Who knows, but I'm setting my lid in place with it. Oh, I forgot I actually picked up the bronzing powder as well that goes in these little sets because I liked how it looked for a little transition shade. So I'm gonna use that as well. I've got some crazy lip colors to use, so I'm gonna keep my eyes fairly neutral. So this is just like the bronzer color. Yeah, that's a good color. That is like a Steph color. Yeah, that's a really, really nice crease shade. I know it's not exciting, but trust me, it gets exciting in a minute. So I'm just gonna quickly do my brows, and I'm just using a clear brow gel. This one's just from Bourjois. Can't find the Essence one that I have, but that's really good if you guys are curious. So I'm just brushing those through. So the next product I'm actually very nervous about because it is weird. It is this brow marker, semi-permanent. Oh shit. Um, and this one is in the shade Brownie. It doesn't look too warm toned. That was like the main thing I was worried about, was it being like super warm toned. Semi-permanent though. Yikes, no pressure. Okay, so far. So good. It's not the perfect colour, but it's fine. It's not noticeable or anything. I don't really know why it's this shape though. Like I get it, I get the gimmick. I get you want it to look like a pen. I mean, it's, to be honest, it's not as bad as what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be super blocky brows that just like didn't look good. It's just a bit weird to use, to be honest. I just feel like I'm using one of my old school pens. So then for mascara, I have one of their new ones. This is the Instant Volume Boost Mascara Smudge Proof and Intense Black. 
ready in 10 seconds. So the one is just kind of like, it kind of looks like one of those standard ones that come with like fibery mascaras. Let's see what this can do. Ooh. That makes the root of your lashes so thick, which is what I love. I seriously don't know what Essence put in their mascaras, but they're always so damn good. This is black, this is lengthening, this is giving me a good curl, like... Essence, I don't know how you do it. Um, might have potentially found one of my new favourite mascaras. I like it that much. Okay, we still need to wait and see as to whether or not it transfers onto my under eyes, but... So far, 10 out of 10 for this bad boy. Ooh, onto the fun bit. So the main thing that I was most excited about for this video are all the lip products that they've come out with. So they've brought out this Vibrant Shock lip paint and they've got like five different colors or something and they're all pretty intense, like look at that. So this one here is in the shade Night Stalker and do they dry down matte? Yeah, it says Velvet Matte, so buzzing for that. They also have five metallic ones in the Metal Shock. So I got this one here in the shade, if it's going to tell me, don't think it wants to tell me, Poison Ivy. And I mean, again, just like, look at that. I don't normally like metallic liquid lipsticks, but I can get on board with that. And then we have more shades from their matte, matte, matte collection, just their regular lipsticks. So this one here, I've got like a super deep kind of like blacky gray brown tone. This is in 41. What are you? Normally have names, the one and only. And then the same matte range, they've also come out with some vibrant shot colours, same as the liquid lipsticks. This one here is in the shade No to Mainstream, and I'll just pop that one here. Oh my god. Like, I love a crazy lip colour, and I love that the drugstore is coming out with them more now. I think we're going to have to try all of these out, I really think we are. What should we start off with? I feel like maybe the metallic one will be easier to take off, so let's start with that. So we'll just try Poison Ivy. Oh my god, I love it. It's a little bit sheer, so I imagine you'd maybe either need to kind of layer it up, or have two layers, like apply it once, leave it to dry, and then add another layer. I'm just going to leave this to dry for a second, so... Be right back. Can't talk. Back in a minute. So there's me waiting for like the past 10 minutes for this to dry down, and I just double checked the packaging, and it says nothing about it drying down, so I was wrong. But regardless of that, I honestly love, love how this looks. The colour is absolutely insane. I imagine you probably would need some sort of lip liner or something like that, but if you have some kind of like khaki eyeliner or something, then you could just go around the edges of your lips with that just to keep everything in place. But yeah, love that. So the next one I'm going to try is... This one doesn't say it dries down either, but it says Velvet Matte, so I'm going to give it a go. So this is the other liquid lipstick in the shade Night Stalker. So excited for this one as well. Wow. Oh my god, that is such an insane colour. So is this not the sickest blue lipstick you've ever seen? Like, that colour is just insane. I've seen, like, navy blues, I've seen just, like, true blues, but this is kind of like an aquamarine. Don't know if that's the right word to describe it, but I am so obsessed with this. Don't know when I'm going to wear it, just like with all my other blue lipsticks, but I love that. And as for transfer, it does transfer, but it feels really, really comfortable on my lips. Um, yeah, love that. No, nothing else to say, I'm just obsessed. But oh my god, does this shit stain. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not coming off. That's a cute lip colour though. So whilst my lips are already blue, let's just go in with this like greeny lipstick. So this was in the colour No to Mainstream. So this is what the Vibrant Shock lipstick looks like. And oh my god, I genuinely think the next time I go past the Wilkinsons, I'm going to go in and literally pick up like every single one of the matte colours that I like because... The way these feel is like nothing. Literally feels like nothing on my lips and the colour is insane. Haven't lined my lips or anything like that. I'm honestly, this might be potentially one of my new favourite formulas of lipsticks. So last but not least, we have another one of these lipsticks. This one here is in the shade The One and Only and this is like the sort of grey brown one. And then last but not least is this super, super dark vampy colour, which again, I am just so, so obsessed with. Definitely going to be going in and picking up a bunch of these colours because the way these lipsticks feel is honestly like some of the best. 
Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I think it's safe to say that I am absolutely obsessed with pretty much everything that I tried out today. The mascara, so so good. Probably wouldn't say it's a 10 out of 10 just because it has transferred a little bit. The lipsticks are honestly incredible. Same goes for the liquid lipsticks and the metallic ones. The biggest disappointment was probably the metal chrome highlighter, but it wasn't even bad. It just wasn't as good as I was maybe expecting it to be. I was kind of expecting something to be super, super intense, but it was a bit more of like a natural, subtle highlight. But yeah, overall, once again, no surprises here. Essence, you have absolutely smashed it with this one. As always, you guys, let me know what you think of this makeup look. Let me know which is your favorite lipstick in the comment section down below and if there are any other products that Essence have randomly come out with that I need to try. If you enjoyed this video, then as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.